call it Tiger Sports fan. It's nice to have you with us once again as we wrap up the season for a few and prepare for the beginning of the season for others. The tennis team traveled to Georgia on October 18 to play the ITA Cup. For the first time in history of the program, they won both singles and nationals. Unfortunately, the women came up short, placing fourth in the competition. However, on the men's side, super sophomore Takeshi Taku won the single championship by defeating Diego Dallasai from Tyler Junior College. In addition to that, the duo Borutu Skierker and Bruno Navani brought the doubles championship home by defeating Dan Persson and Natalia Gomei from Tyler. Aaron spoke with Coach Raga and a few players about the team's success and their expectations for the spring. The tennis team finishes their season on the high note in Nationals. I got the chance to speak to Coach Raga and two other players about it. Oh, for sure, our goal is try to next semester. Of course, is try to to win the national tournament as a team with the team. It's my it's my goal. It's our goal. Uh, last year we were super close. We we couldn't we couldn't get it. But I'm pretty sure if we work hard during this semester and during next semester, I think we're gonna have like a big chance to to make it possible. But uh, just our goal is go day by day and keep working hard. Yeah, no, exactly like Buru said, we've been keeping our heads up, you know, staying humble, working hard as a team. Um, we got back to practice today um, and uh, we pushing, you know, we're more motivated than we were before. Um, you know, just hearing the stories um, of last semester, how close the boys were to winning nationals, just gives me that anger and motivation to work hard so we can execute our plan, which is winning nationals next semester. And uh, honestly, we have an amazing team. We have a good connection on and off the court. You know, we're always supporting each other. We have amazing coaches, Coach Raga, both Manny and Ariana. So, man, we're just working super hard and we're gonna stay, yeah, take it day by day and work as hard as possible so we can get what we want next semester. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, like you said, Takeshi winning the singles titles, and then Bruno and and Boris winning the doubles. It was an amazing time. Um, we knew Takeshi was a favorite to win, and then the boys were uh, Boris and Bruno were also the number one seed at the tournament. But um, it was tough. We had to play four days of your best tennis to be able to win the title. So proud of the guys. They competed really well. Um, we've been working super hard for two months to, to be ready for, for nationals and it paid off. Yeah, we actually are super, we, we finished nationals and we took a couple of days off. So the the whole team, we expect to just be the best we can. Um, last year we came in the season being the number one team as well. And um, I think we had, like we felt we had to win every match. But this year we're thinking a little different. We just want to play our best tennis. Um, practice super hard and then the results will, will come um, so if, if we do our thing we play the best of, of the abilities we're, we're gonna have a great season as well both women and men's tennis teams are preparing their off-season training to get ready for the next season make sure you keep track of them on the Cali Athletics website page for their future national run in the spring after such a great campaign this year cross country continue to meet and exceed what's expected Coach Reef explained to Taylor how the team stays hungry for titles and their preparation for nationals on November 12th, held in Tallahassee, Florida. Hello Tigers, my name is Taylor Kilpatrick and I'm out here at the cross country team's running trails right now and I'm going to talk to Coach Reef about nationals and everything that they're doing to prepare for championship season. I think the main thing leading into championship season is not to focus on other teams. Uh, you got to focus on ourselves. Because like we control ourselves more than we can, we don't have any control of the other teams. Uh, so, how do I keep the athletes hungry, even though we've just had continued success? Like this year in particular, we on the men's side, we don't have Amos or Adrian, and we leaned on them guys big time last year. So uh, how we like keep the guys hungry this year is like okay, like other teams are saying that we can't do without those guys. Let, let's go prove them wrong. The team chemistry this year is really great. Uh, we just crack a lot of jokes. We're, we're basically a family. Mm -hmm. With nationals coming up. Training really hasn't strayed too far from the beginning of the season because you want to be sharp for nationals and training has been pretty much the same minus a little bit less on the long run and then um, 16 down to 14 miles and then uh, just a little bit more specific work, faster intervals. 
Tiger Sports Network just wants to give a special shout out to Coach Reith and the athletes for their time. Good luck at Nationals to the cross country team. And again, I'm Taylor Kirkpatrick and back to the studio. The Lady Tigers played the last game of the regular soccer season on October 26th in Dodge City and returned it with a win. The women are now heading into play regionals this Sunday at Coffeyville. On the men's side, the team is working hard in preparation for the playoffs that starts next Monday. The Tigers going to regionals and beyond is nothing new. However, there is a new addition to the program. Marcus Guiveiro, a former professional player, arrived this season to join both teams as the new assistant coach. Coach Vaz and Coach Dos Santos are excited and grateful to have Marcos on their team. They agree he brings balance and soccer wisdom to their coaching staff. I now got an inside look to the new coaching dynamic. As a player, I started playing soccer since uh, I was three years old and I left my home to pursue my dream when I was 13. And I play in diverse teams in Brazil, first division, and I went to Europe as well. I play in Italy, Spain, and England. He is well known by Coach Tanner and Coach Hui. They both work with him, and uh, that was everything that they needed as far as the background and um, what they need to, to sort it out as a, a future coach. He has a different way of coaching kids which I really appreciate it because sometimes you need different stimuli to the kids, you know, different ways of talking to them. But Marcos, the reason why we got him here is because of his character. He's a, he's a very loved guy, you know, everybody likes him. It's very easy to, to get along with him, but at the same time he demands excellence. He, he knows what it takes to be successful. And um, he's just working with me in all capacities here, you know, like, like Tanner, because Tanner is pretty much my associate head coach. I want Marcos to be an associate head coach as well. Cali Volleyball has been doing a phenomenal job. With an overall score of 35-3, it is impressive to see the results. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, during summer break, the team suffered the loss of a key player. Rosanna Papa, NGCA First Team All-American and KGCC Freshman of the Year in 2021, tore her Achilles tendon and that took her out of the season. She recently assumed the role of the student assistant coach and I got the chance to speak with Coach Graham, her teammate, and her about this. We worked all spring with, with Ro. Ro did a, a, a great job last year. She was she was three-time All-American. She set her year, freshman of the year, all, all the accolades you could pos she could possibly get last year she got. And she earned them. I mean, she, she ran her offense. We had the number one offense in the nation. And and was undefeated going into the national championship game and so and she was a big part of that. I can say that she's one of the best setter I have played with. Um, I never like find someone such precise as her. Uh, no matter where the ball is, where the ball was, um, the ball was in her hand and then perfect in the spot that you needed it. When we get to call it, she 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 got injured, and so we uh, we knew we had to get get ready for that. Well, yeah, it wasn't easy. I mean, it was really hard. But I torn uh, completely my Achilles uh, at the beginning of June, and I had the surgery to fix it uh, after some days. And at the beginning, it was hard because I was at my home alone, and I was like, I want to play. How it would be like going to Cowley without playing, so a lot of questions. Uh, but actually at the end right now I'm feeling really good. I'm still doing rehabilitation here and I can see the results of the rehabilitation so I'm really positive and motivated because maybe, maybe on January we'll start again tra practicing and we will see. Because it's like it's difficult to find the real connection between a player and the and the setter and the fact that we could talk the same language was very good and I think we really found a good chemistry last year and I miss playing with her. Well, Ro, Ro was a very, very experienced player and she, you know, she's, she's very mature for her age as far as coming in the setting position as well as the volleyball. Her volleyball IQ is very, very high, especially in the setter position. So when she got hurt and, and we knew that she was not going to be able to play this year, our immediate response is, you're going to be a student assistant this year, and you're going to help in, in that. So she she chimes in on things she sees. She helps Viv and T Tynesha, our two setters, 
uh, with things that she sees, and she's earned their respect because she did so. What she's done so well, and she has a reputation. So that valuable IQ compared with, I mean, in, in addition to her respect that she's earned goes a long way and sometimes it's better to have a player tell you things and sometimes a coach and then and she gives us that that bridge there that we need. Women's basketball is preparing for the first big matchup of the season against Wesleyan at home. With a few scrimmages in the back, coach Clark has been able to see what needs to be adjusted for the season that starts on November 1st. The players emphasize the preparation is key to a good performance. They have been working hard to improve their individual skills, physicality, and bonding as a team. Taylor spoke to the players and coach about what is to come. Hello Tigers, my name is Taylor Kilpatrick and I recently talked with Coach Clark and a few of the basketball players on the women's team about how they're staying healthy off the court and how they're preparing for the season ahead. Here's Coach Clark with some of that information. You know, I think we've got to rebound better as a group, as a team. Um, but we've really got to defend better, on, especially on the half court. I didn't think we, I didn't think we defended very well last year. So I'd like to see us do better with that. Especially we had a scrimmage last weekend. I felt like we kind of figured out some things we couldn't do. <laughs> we didn't do a whole lot right, but we figured out some things we definitely couldn't. And the big key for for me anyway is trying to develop other players. When you're missing certain players, you got to develop the guys that are on the court, the guys that are at practice. You know, if they're if they're available and they can play, you got to try and help them. Personally, I feel like I need to improve on shooting and taking care of the ball and playing my role and the team. I think we need to improve on just communicating and getting more used to playing together as a team. Off the court, I eat nutritious foods and get plenty of rest, maybe some ice and a little stretching to go with that. Physically, I think we're just getting in, in good shape and like toning up on our skills. And mentally, I think we're learning each other because we have a lot of new people and that's really important. It seems to me that the Lady Tigers will have a great year this year under Coach Clark. It helps that they are preparing their bodies off the court so that they can perform on the court. Again, my name's Taylor Kilpatrick and we'll see you in the studio. The start of the season is also approaching for men's basketball. The Tigers are putting the work in to face Redlands Community College on November 1st. Aaron spoke to Coach Jackson and player Cameron Jernigan about their expectations. Basketball season's just a week away. I got the chance to speak with Coach Donnie Jackson and player Cameron Jennigan about it. Well, we're still kind of, you know, trying to find out who we are, which I think we're getting closer, um, and then clean up some of the mistakes we've we've had in the, the scrimmages. Um, the one thing about Redlands, they're always athletic. They're going to play fast. Uh, they're going to have good players. And so early in years, they're, they're traditionally really strong. Uh, that's usually when they play their best basketball. Um, they've had some really good teams. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see how he is because I'm, I'm personal friends with their head coach. Uh, when I coached in Region 2, uh, we always compete against each other. And I know that over at Redlands, they beat us a few times. And uh, so I'm expecting that he'll have his team ready to give us a, a really good game. Should be fast paced. Um, but really what I'm focusing on right now is just getting through the scrimmages and getting better in those situations before I focus in on them because we'll have 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So we'll have five days to get ready for them um, after our last scrimmage. Uh, so that's really what I'm kind of keying in on is, is waiting until those last few days of the month to, to prepare for Redlands. The team, I feel like we're looking good. The practices, they be tough. Like, you got to really stick it out. He do a good job at making us uncomfortable so we can be better. You do a real good job at that. I feel like we're going to be, I feel like he's getting us real done for the season. I feel like we're going to be good when the season comes out. Uh, we don't really, I don't really try and think too hard about the games before they get there. I just listen to coach, do what I got to do, play my role, go out there, play the games. I'm pretty sure he's going to get us ready with those games when he can. The game coming up against Redlands on the first, pretty excited about it waiting to get the season started, get the fans off their feet. Just ready for the atmosphere. Hope Cali really bring, you know, a good crowd. It's going to be fun. I would like to take the time to say thank you for talking to me about it and wish the men the best of luck this season. Cali Wrestling kicks off its season on November 5th at the Friends University Invite in Wichita. Yes, this will be Coach Joseph Circle first time beside the men as the head coach of the Tigers. He and the team have a busy week ahead. As the season progresses with meets in Newman on November 9th and Des Moines, Iowa on the 12th.
It has been a hectic fall for the wrestling team, with some personal changes. However, in true college fashion, they have been training hard in preparation for a great season. The athletics of this fall have been running out so fast. I remember the first match and the competition of the season, and now some teams are already in their postseason. Yes, it's amazing to see how fast the semester is going, but I'm glad we still can keep up with the college sports, being on the road, at home, or even through College Tigers' website.